Hello YouTube, it's eMoney Blue again. Today we're going to try or attempt to do some yeast washing. Here's our beer we just took off the fermenter. And if you can remember, we used this yeast on a California Pilsner, and this is a California yeast. This is the second time we've already used it. And we want to see if we can harvest the yeast for a third time. There's our yeast cake at the bottom of the fermenter. We're going to put in some reverse osmosis water and see if we can uh, soften that up. Add in some water and just give it a little shake here. Okay, we're going to attempt to try to collect some of this yeast. In hindsight, I should have added some more water. Let's collect that yeast. All right, here's what we've collected so far. Got about a half gallon. Gonna add some more fresh water in there. Reverse osmosis. We're gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. And our 15 minutes is up. And as you can see, the yeast has divided into three separate layers. Trub, the dead yeast, the yeast layer, and the beer on top. We want the middle section. We've taken our tops and jars and put them in boiling water to sterilize. And all we want is that center section right there, just between the light and the dark. So we're going to go ahead and pour those off. And as you can see, it looks a little cloudy, but we have the middle section. We're going to go ahead and let this uh, jar right here sit for another 15 minutes and see if there's any more that we could have collected. And as you can see, it has settled, it's been 15 minutes. There's just a real fine, thin layer of yeast that's still active. We don't need it. We're going to go ahead and discard that. We've collected what we want. This is just an experiment. If this works out, we'll continue to do this in the future. And here's what we have. Well, that's it, YouTube. We'll keep you updated, and we'll let you know the next time we use it. Thank you for watching. E-Money Blue.